Our big explosive story tonight, allegations of rape by prison guards at the Dayton Correctional Institute for Women. That's just one claim in the scathing report just released. Kelly May joins us live with more findings. Kelly. Well, Jack, tonight we know that these allegations were discovered during a surprise inspection here in February. And tonight lawmakers are just trying to figure out how to fix these scandalous allegations. At the Dayton Correctional Institution for Women, rape, drugs, and health services are the worst ever reported. A new 177-page inspection report shows security and safety need major overhauls. You know, we could tell that some of the staff were jittery about the tour, that, you know, the warden was relatively new and, and perhaps was nervous regarding the tour. State Rep Naraj Antani was on the surprise inspection tour that uncovered a skyrocketing number of rape allegations involving prison guards. 17 staff members, including the investigator who was supposed to look into complaints, have been forced to resign. At the end of the year, there were 46 open rape cases. Inappropriate relationships between staff and inmates is unacceptable. Taxpayers pay for uh, the prison population and the salaries of those who work for the prison. So I definitely think corrective measures are needed. The inspection also found since 2013 an uptick in the number of guards smuggling in drugs. Use of force against inmates up 80 percent. Allegations of video isn't being recorded for evidence. Mental health and medical service at nowhere near adequate. And in the kitchens, inmates report shortages of food. But the report authors say they anticipate some positive changes after naming a new warden in December 2014. Irregardless of the fact that the warden's new, I think that uh, we need to make sure that the warden is, is doing her job and, and uh, you know, watch the prison closely. Next, they're demanding a full investigation. A report exposes the problems but doesn't necessarily solve any. So I'd like to see them take corrective action. Now, this is just the third report since the prison switched to housing all females back in 2011. We did reach out the, to the Ohio Department of Rehabilitation and Corrections today, but they weren't ready to comment on the report just yet. For now, live at the Dayton Correctional Institute, Kelly May, Fox 45 News.